Welcome to my channel. I'm Gary Wiryawan and today we're going to talk about the perfect 3 prime lens kit for micro forters. Let's go! Before we continue with today's video, this is just a quick reminder for you to support my small channel so that I can continue to make these videos for you by liking this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel down below. It will help me a ton. Thank you so much and let's continue with the video. Today I want to show you a setup, my favorite setup for 3 prime lens kit for micro four -third. This 3 prime lens will help you to shoot whatever you need to shoot. It's very versatile and it comprises of lenses of different focal lengths that will help you to shoot anything from landscape, scenery, street photography, portrait, product photography, and general out and about photography, and so on. Now you might ask, why do I need to shoot with 3 prime lens instead of maybe 2 or maybe 4 or maybe just one single zoom lens with large aperture? Well, the answer is simple because 4 is too many. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for the cheesy jokes, I really cannot help it. But anyway, why do I need to shoot with 3 prime lens instead of maybe just one single zoom lens with large aperture is because this will give you a much more better versatility as well as larger aperture and you can still be able to shoot so many different things with this kit, you know? And also, 3 is not too much, so when you need to carry it around, especially for travel or if you're doing a photo project, it's still lightweight enough and it's not too cumbersome, especially in my own experience. Furthermore, in this video, I'm choosing 3 lenses that are small, easy to carry around, lightweight, portable, not the big professional lenses, so that it's still versatile but you can easily carry it around and still be portable enough for your needs. Now can you see right here? I can grab all the three lenses with just one hand, so it's pretty small, you know? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I did a little bit of research and I found out that the combined weight of these three lenses is still lighter when compared to a single zoom lens with a large aperture like the Olympus 12-14mm to 14 millimeter f2.8. So the combination of these three lenses will give you 372 grams, while the single Olympus 12 to 40 mm f2.8 is around 382 grams. So you are saving 10 grams when you're using these lenses. Plus, you're still getting the large aperture of at least f2 on all of the focal lengths on these three lenses. Plus, I really think that these three lenses are a good representative of what micro photo spirit is, which is small, lightweight, easy to carry around, very portable, but it has great image quality as well as a price that's not relatively too expensive. So now you might still ask, all right, those are all valid reasons, but why, why do I still need to use three lenses instead of just one lens that's a professional lens and has a zoom range with large aperture? And for me personally, when I use these three lenses, these uh, lenses that I will show you later on the video, it really just sparks creativity in my brain, you know? It really, you know, sparks some love inside my heart to really go out and shoot and be passionate and become an enthusiast about what I'm creating, you know? Uh, taking pictures or maybe making film or uh, shooting video. And yeah, these lenses are just very inspiring for me. So yeah, I want to share this passion to you in this video. Also another reason why I'm showing you these prime lenses instead of just using a single zoom lens with a large aperture is because prime lens will teach you better skill that will be beneficial for photography and filmmaking. And that skill is to pre-visualize the focal lengths before you even shoot. So for example, right here, I have this uh, Panasonic Lumix 20mm that I will later talk on the video. And yeah, after using it for a couple of months, for a few months to shoot photography and a little bit of video, I can start to really visualize the focal lengths before I even uh, shoot with my camera. So if I see a scenery, if I see an object, if I see something that I want to photograph or video, I can already tell in my mind how tight the framing is gonna be. And that I think is a very beneficial skill to have and the way that you can really uh, have that skill is to be familiarizing yourself with that focal length and prime lens do a really great job on this kind of skill you know of course there are negatives when it comes to shooting with prime lens instead of zoom lens 
For example, you have to change lens when you need to shoot something of a different focal length. And by changing lens, you could probably miss the moment already. The moment's probably gone and you're too late and you cannot get the shot. So that's one problem of shooting with prime lens. Another problem is if you're changing lenses too much, especially with the three uh, lens kit that I'm going to show you, you might introduce dust into your sensor and it might degrade your image quality or maybe it will require extra editing when you're doing post-processing on your images so just keep that in mind all right with that out of the way now let's talk about the lenses themselves all right the first prime lens on this kit is an ultra wide angle lens and my choice for this kit is the lawa 7.5 mm f2 but you can also choose another great contender which is the lawa 10 mm f2 which is brand new and i think it's on pre-order right now so with the lawa 7.5 mm f2 uh, you'll have a focal length equivalent of about 15 mm in full frame so it's really wide it's really lush you know you get a lot of the foreground and background together you know everything is kind of large and far and you know it's a great lens for a landscape for shooting sceneries for doing maybe even environmental portrait you know this lens will do a good job at that so when it comes to lenses this wide, especially like the Lawa 7.5 mm, you know, you have to be careful with perspective distortion. If you tilt the camera slightly below or above, then you'll get the perspective distortion and, you know, the relationship between the subject and the background, you know, the subject will not look too prominent in your image because, you know, everything's gonna be in frame, everything's gonna be slightly in focus, you know, it's not gonna produce depth of field. So, you know, you really have to have a prominent subject so that your subject will stand out. Uh, but for things like landscape photography or so on, you need to be careful with the composition. So uh, I have a video about landscape photography specifically uh, using a wide angle lens like this one. I will link the card above. But basically, when it comes to landscape photography using wide angle lens, you really need to have a prominent foreground, a mid ground and background element on your image. Otherwise, everything will look dull and uninspiring, you know. So that's a challenge when it comes to ultra wide angle lens. However, speaking about the lens itself, the Lawa 7.5mm f2, it's one of my favorite lens and that's why I include it in this kit right now. It's very small, sharp, lightweight, it has a great image quality, the price is not too expensive, it has large aperture of f2, which is quite unusual for prime lens especially for wide angle prime lens you know and yeah i have a review about this lens that i made a few uh, months ago and i will link it on the card above so you can see it for yourself all right there's just a small problem with the lawa lens and that's the fact that this is a manual focus only lens so if you're using this lens you need to know how to manual focus using this lens but anyway because this is a wide angle lens uh, there's a lot of depth of field you know it's not gonna produce a tremendous amount of bokeh or background blur or anything like that so i don't think manual focus is too difficult with this with this lens so you just need to use the uh, manual focus assist on your camera check check it out you know zoom in all the way and just uh, uh, make sure that everything that you want to focus is in focus all right now let's move on with the next category of lens on this kit and that is the normal focal length prime lens there are a lot of lenses that will fit into this category because this is the most common uh, prime lens category that you will find and examples of these lenses are the Panasonic Leica 15mm f1.7, the Olympus 17mm f1.8, the Panasonic 20mm f1.7, the Panasonic and Olympus 25mm f1.8. So all of these lenses will fit into this category. These lenses are really great for street photography, for general out and about photography, product photography, food photography, environmental portrait, that kind of stuff, especially for travel, you know. So between five of these lenses that I just mentioned to you, uh, you should choose the one that you're comfortable to shoot with. And I will give you a little bit of guide on how to choose the best 
normal focal length lens for you. So right here, I have the Panasonic Leica 15mm, which is the widest amongst uh, the five lenses on this uh, normal focal length category. And because it's the widest, uh, if you're shooting with it, you know, uh, the background is going to be more prominent in the uh, image and your subject's not going to be too prominent as uh, compared with the other lenses. Uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing your subject will not stand out too much but you'll have more context on the image uh, to make your image more informative to your viewer I particularly love this kind of image with more context as opposed to an image where the subject is too prominent and you cannot really tell what's happening in the image the context the background you know and I think it's a personal preference, but if you prefer uh, your subject to be more prominent, then you should use the 25mm because that will produce more background blur. It will compress the background a little bit so that it's not too much in the frame and your subject will become more dominant in, this, uh, in the end result of the image. So between the 15, 17, 20, and 25, I choose the Panasonic. 20mm f1.7. The reason is simple, because this lens can mimic both the 17 and the 25 by just stepping backward and stepping forward. I can still have a reasonable amount of context in my image, especially the background and you know whatever surrounding the subject, but I can still make the subject more prominent and more dominant in the final result by stepping forward and uh, shooting with larger aperture at f1.7 and you know it'll start to uh, get more bokeh, you know, more background blur and that will make your subject stand out more. Anyway, I have a review about the Panasonic Lumix 20mm f1.7 on my other videos on this channel so if you want to learn more about this lens i suggest you check out that video right here on the card that i will provide above now the final category of the lenses that i will show you in this three prime lens kit is the medium telephoto uh, focal length this will be about 85 to 90 millimeter in full frame and the choices are the olympus 45 millimeter f1.8 or the Panasonic 42.5mm f1.7. These kind of lenses are really great for doing portrait, for close-up shot, product photography, as well as for a little bit of scenery if you're trying to photograph something that is far away, or if you're trying to compress the background so that your foreground will look more prominent. As you could probably tell, uh, this category of lens will produce great amount of background blur. You know, it start to look very blurry, very dreamy, and it will really compress the background so if you want to eliminate any kind of context or you know a messy background or whatever then you can definitely use this lens to do that my personal choice to be honest will be the panasonic 42.5 millimeter f1.7 because it has optical image stabilization which will help you uh, to shoot with slower shutter speed and it also focuses a little bit closer compared to the olympus 45 millimeter but i purchased this lens before i even know that the panasonic version exists and I'm quite happy with the Olympus version. Uh, you cannot go wrong with either one, so just choose the one that you think suits best for you. Plus, I want to stop buying new lenses because I want to embrace that spirit of minimalism, you know? Anyway, I made a review about this Olympus lens few months ago and I have a card above uh, to show you the review about the lens and you can check it out. But basically, this is a really great lens. It is small, sharp, lightweight. It's not too expensive. It produces great image quality. I'm very happy with this lens. And because it is so small and it looks almost like nothing, you can just carry it anytime inside your camera bag and have it ready anytime you're going uh, out and about and shooting photo or taking video anyway before i ramble on too much i just want to end this video right here and yeah i really hope that this video is inspiring for you it inspires you to go out and shoot and make something uh, create a great photograph uh, take a great video using these lenses if you have them if you don't have don't worry i just want to inspire you to keep shooting to keep creating some new content, some new photos, some new video. Just uh, keep that creativity spark in your brain. Keep that passion, that enthusiasm uh, with photography and filmmaking. Once again, uh, the lenses that I choose are the small little ones, the F1.8, F2 version of the lenses, not the big giant pro lenses, the F1.2, the weather sealed one, you know. Uh, those lenses 
uh, although I'm pretty sure they are great, they produce great image quality, you know, using big lenses will make you feel uh, it's like a chore, you know, not like a hobby, not like something that you're passionate about. It's almost like, you know, going to the grocery <laughs> or, you know, taking out the trash, you know, it's like chore, you know. But if you're okay with that and you have the big pro lenses, then good, I think uh, that's fine. And yeah, uh, everybody has their own preference. So yeah, uh, my preference is the small little lenses and I really love them, you know. I just want to share this love for this uh, camera system, for these small lenses, you know, for the underdogs, you know. I just, I'm just happy when I talk about them, when I, I'm able to create something using these uh, lenses instead of the big professional ones. Alright, so uh, make a new photograph, make a new video using these lenses. If you don't have these lenses, it's all fine. Use whatever you have as long as you're able to keep that spark of creativity in your brain, you know, keep your, your passion with photography photography with video then that's all that matters even if you're not using micro filters it's fine use whatever you have use your phone use your uh, own camera system use whatever as long as you're making something new and be passionate about it then that's good that's really my mission to make you passionate about photography and video all right so that is all for today's video i hope that uh, you find this video to be inspiring and helpful please comment down below if you have any experience about using prime lens in micro folders or in other formats or using any lens in general you know just comment down below also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, share this video and subscribe to my channel that will really help me a ton and motivate me to keep making new videos for you okay uh, thank you so much